right, it's time to talk tropics. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is our in-depth look at what is happening out there right now. And it's Monday, and as always, we're here with our update a little bit after 4 p.m., kind of giving you all the, the details and able to kind of go into things a little bit. If you kind of unplugged over the weekend, you missed another tropical storm, another short-lived tropical storm, but this one actually made a landfall in Mexico. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, but also I know a lot of you are checking in right now because you want to know about that mess over near Florida in the eastern Gulf. We're going to dive into that as well. But first of all, this is where the action was over the weekend, and this is where we have the action happening right now. Over on the eastern side of Mexico, that's over in the Gulf, is where we had Barry make its landfall. And over on the western side of Mexico in the eastern Pacific is where we are now seeing a new tropical storm. So we'll first of all start with that landfall of Barry just to the south of Tampico, and it occurred uh, around. I, I think it was after 10 o'clock last night, but let's see if this replays it. We'll watch that clock here officially making that landfall closer to midnight, I think. And then uh, this mountainous terrain here, not helpful at all for for a tropical system to develop. So quickly falls apart and loses the tropical characteristics at 4 a.m. this morning. The National Hurricane Center called it, said that's it. We're done with Barry. Uh, it's a goner. So we did have a tropical storm for 12 hours or so and then uh, you know it was a tropical depression before that and then uh, moving across the Bay of Campeche and then into the Gulf and making its landfall just to the south of Tampico. Now as I mentioned we do have over in the eastern Pacific uh, where we've been watching uh, off to the west of Acapulco is where we're kind of watching at the moment and this is tropical storm Flossy, and you'll notice those the path that it's taking is kind of parallel to this coastline here, and it looks like we're going to keep that track for a little while. I'm not going to dive in a whole lot about this system for right now because I do want to spend some time on what's happening over. Again, our focus is normally in the Atlantic, and this is kind of the 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 mess that we're talking about. There's just sort of an unsettled batch of showers and storms that are out over the Gulf. Obviously, that doesn't have a whole lot of impact for these uh, land areas. Some of this rain is sort of lingering on and making its way into Florida, pushing over into New Orleans and, and Louisiana just a little bit, as well as, of course, uh, Mississippi and uh, Alabama. But for the most part, the bulk of these storms are all still offshore. But what's going to happen is these continue to just kind of hang around and we'll have a front that moves through during the weekend and of course that's still about five days away so the exact timing and how that location there's obviously some questions involved there but a front kind of drapes itself across the gulf and across florida and then over into the atlantic as well and it's very common sometimes when you have these kind of storms and it has that little bit of a boundary to kind of focus on to kind of get a little bit of a swirl going and you can have a low pressure system and that maybe even gets close circulation at the surface and then you've got yourself a tropical cyclone and that's what the concern is now right now we're still looking at some lower opportunities for that happening but the ingredients are there and it just has to kind of unfold and we'll see what happens over this five-day period i do want to touch on the saharan dust real quick if you're some of us who live in the Houston area, this dust has been traveling across the Atlantic for a week now, moved across the Gulf, and now is parking itself here across Southeast Texas. This batch of dust really is going to be with us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little bit into Thursday, and then we have another batch, a little plume that'll be kind of rolling in on Friday as well. So the, the hazy conditions, the dusty conditions, that's going to stay with all of these Gulf Coast states. And again, that includes us folks here in Houston. And I know that a lot of you out there are not in Houston. We got a lot of folks over in Louisiana who like to check in here with our tropical updates, and we're glad you're doing that. And we have an international audience as well. So you folks down in the Caribbean, uh, you're lucky this time around. We're not going to be talking about Jamaica and some of the other spots where we've had some folks communicate with us. We're focused a little bit closer to the U.S right now because this is what the National Hurricane Center is focused on. So when you look at the tropical outlook from the NHC, uh, this is the yellow shading where we think we could have something form. 
and I always like to stress this yellow shaded area here. It's not an impact area. It's not where we think the damage is going to happen or whatever the threat might be. This is where the formation is expected to, to be and where we're watching for that possibility at least of a formation and right now this is the focus now as that front comes down that could kind of send a little bit of low pressure across the peninsula of Florida and something could be forming over here because that front will be kind of draped all the way across and that's kind of why we end up with this shape and the 20 percent is anywhere within this yellow area that's what the hurricane center is saying over the next seven days so in the short term we're not looking for anything to happen. This is going to be watched for multiple days and we'll be able to give minor updates as we go through these multiple days. So this is really going to be the focus of the activity for now. And I can kind of show you a little bit about some rainfall. Our graphics here cut off anything that's happening in the water, but you can see here uh, we get these these ideas, these tastes of four to six inches of rainfall that could be happening. This is all going to be happening in the water through the through the weekend. So no matter what, definitely looks like a rainy forecast, probably a washout for the July 4th festivities for the state of Florida. A lot of rain for those folks. Just a quick reminder, of course, that Fox Local, if you're not watching us on there right now, is a great way to, to get a lot of other products that show you the tropical updates that includes forecasting with friends Mondays with Mike and of course the hurricane gear test or the emergency gear test also always giving you some of that information so glad you could check in with us here on the tropical forecast remember we do these every day of the of the hurricane season even on the weekends so make sure you check in with us again tomorrow for the latest update